Hey, g'day, Stratman here uh, from pipwear.com. I'm just going to take you through a live uh, THV trade. Um, I'm looking at the four hour on the uh, pound USD. And uh, what we've been seeing over the last little while is that we've been having an uptrend, a pullback, uptrend, and pullback. But what we can see is that uh, we're the, this uptrend here went and bounced off some trend line support has come back down, um, come up, bounced off this um, horizontal support, finally broken through, is now pulled back and tried to retest this horizontal support, now is coming back up through, has broken back through the trend line support and is now retesting this trend line support. Um, I'm looking for a long trade here because the, the, the main um, information here is, is is an upward trend I've got a I've got a bit of a, uh, a moving average here longer term remember these are four hour candles I'm wanting to try if I can to get into long trades because that's what I'm considering is with the trend um, let's take this analysis back down to 15 minutes which is where I normally trade and, and see what's what's going on here um, well as you can see we're we, we've had a pullback here um, and if we do a let's do a fib on that just to just to um, square things up a bit we'll do it from the bottom of here and up to here and what have we got well we've, we've retraced back to 38.2 there and uh, now we're heading back upwards so uh, we've got got another idea that's um, supporting my my thoughts of um, a long trade entry what's happening with our, our market ranges well, uh, I can see from this that uh, we've got Wellington, Sydney and Tokyo open. Um, the Tokyo would normally do 114 on average for the month per day. Uh, we've done 15 so far. Also, uh, we've got a bit of movement here on the Australian market, which is open, which closes in another three and a half hours. Um, so uh, three and a half would that be right yeah three and a half hours approximately we've done 21 pips in that and it'll do 66 normally so um, we're seeing that we've got potential here for another 40 pips um, we're we're not in an area of consolidation the last swing was uh, was um, 18 pips and the high of that last swing is 12 pips away and the low is 6 pips away. We've already done 40 pips for the Asian session so far so I feel confident that there's enough volatility there to consider a trade. Um, let's take a look at the other time frames. Well on my mini chart, my uh, let's look at the weekly. Weekly showing well we're, we're kind of uh, in, a, in a bit of an upward trend. We've been going upwards and we've we've been pulling a little bit of flag here and then then we've got a bit of an upwards trend here so the weekly's confirming the direction I'm aiming the daily's confirming the direction as well we've had a push up and uh, had a bit of retracement and now we're, we're sitting right here um, the four hourly well the four hourly's had a, a push up flag push up flag and we're at the top of the flag again so I'm, I'm looking for a breakout of this flag um, go to the one hour and we'll see the last kind of uh, trend upwards, a flag pullback. We've got um, you know a breakout of this flag at the moment, and so I'm I'm considering a long trade here. Um, M15 again. Well, we can see a bigger part of the flag that we saw on the one-hour chart, and uh, I'm you know even though it's looking like things are, are pretty much consolidating here, I'm still considering a long trade. Um, that's the direction of the trend at the moment. My four THV indicators are saying there's more hope of a, a, a long trade here than a short trade, so we're, we're waiting for that. What are my um, what's my THV system saying? Uh, let's go and have a look at that. Well, my charts here are saying well, flip. We've got we've been going up and testing the medium support one, which is just here. Uh, we've bounced off that, been rejected been rejected. Um, there's where we opened. The the daily pivot is below us. Um, we may even see a retracement all the way back to the daily pivot and a bounce off before it comes through here. But remember we've got that support sitting there underneath us. 
um, just waiting for tricks to do to do something on the uh, 15 minute I'm wanting to see the tricks go in the opposite the fast tricks going the opposite way on the five minute I want to see this cross the other and on the one minute I want to see that all line up as well so we, we're just waiting for some um, a confluence of all the all the, the THV stuff to line up to support the fact that we're considering a long trade so um, let's just wait this one out a little bit and see what eventuates so we don't really want to take this trade until we see a break of MS1 up here um, and confirmation of, of all our THB indicators down here I'm pretty sure once we get a break of MS1 we'll probably see the M15 all the rules uh, set up correctly we should see the M5 rules set up and, and we'll then be waiting for the M1 rules and off we go into the trade so let's just pause for a for a short time and uh, see what happens there okay folks looks like we're um, just just breaking through uh, MS1 here um, we've got the the fast tricks crossing the slow tricks on the M5 so all our conditions are just about set up um, we're probably expecting a pullback to MS1 um, uh, sorry medium resistance one not MS1 and uh, there we go conditions met on M1 uh, conditions just about met on what's what are we waiting for we're waiting for the fast tricks and the slow tricks to change color um, and the M15 is looking like we're getting pretty ready to set up um, for me I've already um, entered this trade I'm a little bit more aggressive um, I've done all my homework on this um, I've got my stop loss down lower let's just have a have a gander here um, this is my actual live OANDA account um, you can see at the moment I'm currently in a profit I'm just trying to work out where my number of pips are where's the number of pips ah uh, yeah I'm not in profit yet I'm at 0 0.003 um, there's my stop loss down the bottom here um, yeah my entry was a little bit further back and here's my target I'm targeting close to the 1.67 which is uh, um, R1 so let's now just wait for possibly a retracement here back to MS1 uh, sorry MR1 and see where we go from there let's um, just pause again because we don't want this to be longer than 10 minutes Well, I'm currently sitting at uh, one pip profit, and um, we can see why we're stalled a little bit. Um, we're, we're sitting right on the the high of the the current session. There's the New Zealand um, range, Australian, Tokyo. That's the high for all of those right now. So just waiting for it to bust out of there. I expect it to kind of bounce off there, do a retracement on our uh, our back to maybe our MS1. So that's where we are there. Uh, MR1, sorry. I keep getting the two confused and if we look at my trade I'm sitting at one pip profit and we're seeing it retrace back so let's just um, wait that one out and see what happens okay folks we've uh, just had our clear break there um, MR1 we're on the one minute we've definitely broken forward there's our tricks crossing uh, on the one minute five minute all green crossed slow tricks fast tricks green crossing here on the 15 um, we're definitely on our way up and we're aiming for R1 up here uh, interesting thing right now if I go to my main chart is that we broke out of the consolidation here and uh, it's right on um, the Hong Kong just about to open I notice every day just as Hong Kong opens there's a bit of a sharp move so let's see what happens uh, I'm just going to pause it again after we just have a quick look at my chart uh, my my uh, real trade we're sitting at 11.8 pips positive right now we could end right now if we want but we're just going 
Okay, we're still on the trade. Um, I'm going to have to do a second video because I'm I'm already up to ten minutes here. Um, just just check the uh, profit we're at right now. Well, we're at fourteen point two pips. Um, so I'll just stop here and we'll start another video.